Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to return a value from a third column when you're matching two specified values in two other columns and you want to return the value on the same row in that third column. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have in cells A1 and B1 two data validation lists that list nine different colors here and the list is what we show over here in column S. So based on these two values in cells A1 and B1 I want to match up D and E and see where these two values match those two values from column D and E and then return in cell A3 whatever numerical value 1 through 26 is on that same row. So for example, if I choose green in A1 and I choose orange in B1, I get the number 1 because we can see green and orange there. Green, orange, it returns a number 1. Or if instead this was blue, I would get a 2, green, blue, because that matches number 2. Again, if I went down and chose white, looking for white and blue, that doesn't match anywhere, so I just get an NA. So the formula that we're going to use is an index formula using the combination actually of index and match, and that's the formula that you see here in cell H1. So let's take a look and see how we created this formula. I'm going to go ahead and recreate it here in cell H3. So I'm going to do equals index, and index returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a row and column. So I have an array, a row number, and a column number. Well, my array is going to be that value there, and I'm just going to hit F4 to lock that. My row number is going to use the match function to figure that out. And what I'm going to do, my lookup value, is going to be a concatenation of A1 and B1. That's going to be the cell that I'm going to look up, or that's going to be the value I'm going to look up. Now my array is going to be column D concatenated with column E. That's going to be my lookup array, and my match type is going to be 0. So I'll close off my match, and then in my index, the column number is just going to be column 1. I'll close that off. Now the key here is that I am looking through two lists or two arrays to try to find a match of cell A1 and B1. And because of that, this is an array formula. So I can't just hit Enter. I need to use Control-Shift-Enter. I get, in this case, an NA because there is no white or blue combination. But instead, if I change this to green and blue, I get a number 2. And again, green and blue in row 2. Let's pick another combination. Maybe I'll choose green and green. That'll give me a number 8. If I go down to row 8, green, green, that gives me a number 8. So the key here is that we are concatenating the first two and using that as our lookup value into the concatenation of the two arrays for column D and E. But because they are arrays, I need to use Control-Shift-Enter to enter that formula to make it an array formula, which inserts the curly brackets around it and has Excel go through all the various combination between those two columns worth of data to find our match. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.